everybody, welcome to Keto Greg. Today we're going to make a lemon pound cake almond flour. Today's um, ingredients we're going to need are these in front of you. We're going to need one and, a, uh, one and a quarter cups of almond flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, three tablespoons of your choice sweetener. And I recommend mine is a silver spoon and the wet ingredients are four eggs four ounces of cream cheese softened and i recommend philadelphia four tablespoons of butter again two teaspoons of lemon extract but and the frosting ingredients we're going to need four ounces of cream cheese four tablespoons of butter one quarter of a cup of powdered erythrosol which I'm using again, silver spoon, and two teaspoons of lemon extract, and the zest of one lemon. That's all the ingredients we're gonna to need today to make this a lemon pound cake. So, let's get started. Okay, into the mixing bowl, we've just put one and a quarter cups of almond flour, and then we want two teaspoons of baking powder okay okay and then now we're going to put in three tablespoons of sweetener and all we do is mix all them dry ingredients together give them a good mix Everything's incorporated in there now. So, okay, so we've got four eggs in a new mixing bowl. So, we're just going to whisk these together like so. And what we need now is the softened cream. Make sure this is at room temperature, okay. And then you need to mix these together. Obviously, if it's not room temperature, it's going to be a, a lot harder. You can actually put it in the microwave to get it to room temperature, but do watch it so it doesn't melt. Okay. Just gives you a good bit of a workout, this, so it burns some a few more calories off. Okay, now we're going to add the butter, four tablespoons, and we do the same with that. Make sure this is not melted and it's just at room temperature. So there we go, we've got all the butter mixed in as well now. We should suck something like that. Okay, so we've got all that mixed now. So what we're going to do is add two table, uh, teaspoons of lemon extract, so this is where we get the lemon flavour from. What you can do, which I like to do, is grate a bit of the lemon zest as well. Put that into it. Just gives it that extra bit of lemon flavour because I love lemon. So there we go. So all we're going to do now is just whisk that back together. And you can smell that lemon. It's so strong, it's lovely. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so we get the dry ingredients and just dump in the wet ingredients. So just brush, make sure you get everything out because you don't want to miss any of that lovely flavouring. Okay. So 
And now we just whisk it all together. There we go, all that's mixed together now. Okay, so I've got my baking tin and a liner, and then we just pour all that into the baking tin. All that into the tin. Kids won't appreciate because they can't lick the bowl out. They can't on this anyway because it's got raw eggs. The eggs haven't been cooked yet. So all we do is just give it a bit of a bang, make sure all the air's out of it. And then we're going to pop that in the oven on 350 or 175 Celsius for 35 minutes. 35 minutes, that's all that should take. There we go, ladies and gents, a lemon pound cake. And that turned out really well. It's cooled down a bit now, so take it out of the tin. Look at that, absolutely lovely. There we go, guys. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to let that cool down quite a lot before we ice it up. Get back to me then. Brilliant. Okay, so melt the cream cheese. This is for the icing now. So four ounces of uh, cream cheese. Four tablespoons of butter, softened. Mix them both together. Then we're going to add two teaspoons of lemon extract again. We also want to add in a quarter of a cup of sweetener. Now I do suggest that you get the powdered type for this, because the granulated will be a bit crunchy. And also, what I'm going to do is just add a bit more of the lemon zest. Right. And now, give that a mix in. And that's it. Now we're just going to ice the cake. Okay, so now we can spread the icing on the top of the cake. You do have to leave this in the fridge for it to set. You can't leave this out covered up outside the fridge, otherwise it will go off, because obviously the cream cheese in it so it will go off so from what I've done I've got some cling film just set it underneath the cake so once this is on the top we can just wrap the cake up and then put it in the fridge and leave it overnight and the big taste test will come tomorrow Look at that, looks lovely doesn't it? There we go, a lemon pound cake. Right, 
Right guys, that's it. Lemon pound cake done. Obviously we can't do the taste test till tomorrow. So I get to lick the bowl out. Favourite fun, I'm having no kids at home. Hardly any carbs in this whatsoever. It's all sweetener, cream cheese, butter. So it's all part of our diet. But please, please, if you've enjoyed this video, give it the thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The more people I can get subscribed to my channel, the more we can get this keto stuff out to everybody. Get them losing weight. We really need to get people to lose weight on hell of a lot of obese people in this country. In America, this thing's massive, so help us to get it out. Subscribe to my channel, hit that little grey bell. Every time I post a video, you'll be the first to know. So, help me. And only you can help me. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Please leave some comments if you like it. And spread the word. Keto Greg. Thank you.